Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you and this video has been a long time coming. It's about been about four months since the last time I've attempted to do a hundred yard shooting on camera with the Umarex Gauntlet. And I am safe to say that this is the most accurate gauntlet I've ever seen in person, on camera, and on YouTube as far as now. Um, 100 yards using the Gamo Hunter 15.42. As stated in previous videos, I calculated this to be 99% optimized for the barrel on this gun. I don't want to forget to mention that this is a hundred yards or hundred degrees difference from the last attempt that I've had at a hundred yards. Last video I made at a hundred yards was at negative five degrees. The video today that I took was at 95 degrees, a hundred degrees difference. And I was shooting in 10 mile an hour wind. So with the constant wind, my pellets pretty much landed consistently. But when there was certain gusts, and you'll hear them in the video, I got a short clip I want you guys to see. I had the camera behind the target, figured it would be better so you guys can see the pellets coming through the target. It didn't really turn out that way. But anyway, I still got the clip of me shooting. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll show you guys the groups up close here in a second. And I got pictures to show. But I just can't believe I all the work that I put into it, all the minor tuning, that I've done, and mind you, this is still the factory power. So these pellets are going at 12 inches in front of the shroud, 850 feet per second through my chronograph. So, and according to chair gun at 100 yards, those pellets are around 600 feet per second. And you can hear it in the video, they, they're still kicking and if long as I wasn't messing up uh, and didn't have the gun held correctly the way it wants to be held at that long of a distance and still again if you haven't seen the last video previous video my right eye my dominant eye I have astigmatism so and I'm nearsighted so anything super far away I have trouble with even with the contact in so 100 yards though I cannot believe it I got two groups less than an inch five shot groups and the rest of them were right around that ballpark and so you'll see what i'm talking about so check it out Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little clip. Like I said, you really didn't get to see the pellets much, but it was requested by viewers that I circle the groups. So, 
these two right here, I believe, are the best groups I've shot. Uh, this one is an actual two hole, and then three right here. So pellets were landing consistently where I wanted them to. The only downfall was at that range, it's pretty much my fault that I don't get one inch. But pretty much all these, even though these two were less than an inch, these two right here were so close at one inch, it's so minimal. And you guys seen that the pictures though. So, whoo, man, that really, that was one of my set goals with this gun um, to do that. And you really, no, not everybody's gonna be shooting at 100 yards every day. This is like the third time I've ever took this gun out to 100 yards. And with it perfectly tuned the way I done it, and like I said, factory gun, factory out, output, um, it still has the factory baffle in it. Sorry, Hajimoto. They, the pellets did not like the, the baffles. So they it just it loved the factory baffle with my M8 washer at the end uh, of the cap. And then I got my tuning set up with my one inch washer and my three quarter inch inside diameter grommet. And one other reason why I think that these groups are not tighter than that is because it was so hot today that the barrel was flexing. I could see it, I could see it whip even more because it was so hot. And on top of it all, my table that I was using, my fold out table, it was so hot that the table was flimsy. Every time I shot, I felt the table bow a little bit. So again, as of today, this is the best 10 shot, or 100 yard group, five shot groups I've ever got. So, I am so excited. So I know that could be tightened up and I know that could be better. And that is at 100 yards with a 22 caliber with these pellets. So anyways guys, I appreciate you watching as always. I hope you enjoyed the video and I really enjoyed shooting at 100 yards today. Even though it was tough with me um, and my sight, you can see that really doesn't affect me as much as it does and oh man you, you want to talk about hard this gun with that barrel setup being free floated to me that is the hardest uh, gun to shoot I've ever shot at 100 yards my QB chief can shoot a little bit better than that because it has a barrel band so if you guys have PCP guns with barrel bands that actually touch the barrel not with spacing between it in my opinion, those are one of the most accurate PCP guns out there, especially if you get it tuned. Because you don't deal with the barrel flip or muzzle rise or all that good stuff that comes with a free floated barrel, the barrel whip. So, anyways, guys, uh, I hope you enjoy this. Now, I am really going to take a small vacation on the Airgun videos because I just hit one of those goals on my bucket list that. I knew I was going to get eventually and all my hard work paid off. So I appreciate it guys. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you on the next one.